Question 25. What is 20% in 1,800? Well, let's have a look at a few little notes about some basic percentages. If you were finding 50% of a number, you would have to half that number. In other words, you divide it by 2. And it's all because 2 lots of 50% will get you back to 100%. If you were finding 20% of a number, you'd have to divide by 5. And it's all because it's 5 lots of 20% will get you back to 100%. If you're finding 10% of the number, you'd have to divide by 10. And it's all because it's all about what gets you back to 100%. Because 10 lots of 10% will get you back to 100%. Now we can use this information in a couple of different ways. So the first thing we could do is say, well, we need to find 20%. So we could just use this the line here straight away. 20% is divided by 5, because 5 lots of 20 makes 100%. So you could just start with your 1,800 and do a bus shelf division and divide it by 5. So let's have a look where that takes us. How many 5's can I squeeze into 1? Well, none, because 5 is bigger than 1. But I haven't used the 1, so carry the 1. That now makes 18. How many 5's go into 18? 3 5's are 15. So if you get up to 18, there's a remainder of 3. Carry the remainder of 3, and that now makes 30. How many fives can I get into 30? Well, if you know your five times table, you know that it's five to 30. And there's nothing left over, so there's nothing to carry. How many fives go into zero? No fives go into zero. So there we have it, your answer on the top there. So 20% of 1,800 is 360. However, if you're not so confident with your short division, you could do it a slightly different way. You could start by finding 10%. So 10% of 360. Sorry, not 10% of 360. 10% of 1800 is the original question, isn't it? So if you get the 360, that's the answer. I should have said 10% of 1800. So 10% of 1800 basically means you can knock the zero off. So knock the zero off, and you're going to be left with 180. So if 10% is worth 180, you need 20%. So you're going to need to double 180. So it's going to be the same as 180 times 2. Now the easiest way to double 180 is to cover up the 0 and double 18 and then put the 0 back on at the end. So double 18 is going to be 36. Put the 0 back on, that's going to be 360. Which is exactly the same answer as what we got doing the bush shelter method. So your final answer is going to be 360. Before we finish with this question, let's just say about doubling 18. If you were struggling to double 18, you could double the 10 to make 20, and double the 8 to make 16, and then put the two together to get double 18. So 20 and 16 would be 36. So double 18, 36, that's where this comes from. Then obviously to double under an 80 you need to put the zero back on the end and that's why the answer is 360.